Without any further ado, let's get to Charlie O'Connor's three stars of the game leading off with star number three. Star number three, I will go with Morgan Frost. I think Morgan Frost was a really good player for the Flyers today. Obviously scores on the penalty shot. I thought was dominant in the uh, in the second period in particular, a period where I thought the Flyers as a whole struggled. Every time Frost was on the ice, he was making something happen. Uh, he had a really good game. He's been playing well on the whole for the past month or so, uh, but this was a very noticeable game for Morgan Frost. I'm glad he got rewarded uh, with the penalty shot and, and getting a goal there, but he could have finished with three or four points in this game, to be honest. And it's Arizona, so you kind of expected four points, really. Um, I, do you true. think we ever see, with that patience he showed on the penalty shot, you think we ever see him pull the Kuznetsov, where he basically just crawls into the zone? Well, it was funny. He uh, We interviewed him after the game, and he started to explain his thought process behind that particular play, and then he stopped himself and said, I'm not going to give it away. So uh, yeah. so there's clearly, there's clearly a thinking behind doing that, but he's not going to reveal his secrets. Let's go to Charlie's star number two. Star number two, I will go with uh, Travis Konechny. Three points tonight, a goal, two assists. I thought he was just Travis Konechny, you know, and there it might sound like I'm minimizing his contribution by saying it was just Travis Konechny, but in my mind, we have come to expect this level of play from Travis Konechny. He has played this well for long enough that we can expect him to play really well, especially against a team like Arizona that maybe doesn't have the kind of high-end guys that could shut down a Travis Konechny. I, I think he just had a, a classic Travis Konechny game, and it's great to see him kind of getting back going because he was a guy who I thought during that five game losing streak heading into the break was having his first extended period of struggles this season. Since the break, he's looked like Travis Konechny again. So he is my second star. Now I am intrigued to see who you have at star number one. Star number one, I think this is a second straight game. Scott Lawton. Uh, Scott Lawton, first star, you know, gets the gets what essentially is the game winning goal, uh, breaks the uh, the three three tie midway through the third period. I just thought he is again looking like Scott Lawton. You know, he sets up the Konechny goal uh, with a really nice play, both in the neutral zone and then a great pass over to Konechny. He's just playing like himself again. And we interviewed him after the game, and Lawton said, look, I think the biggest thing is since the break, I'm just not thinking as much. I'm just going out there and playing. I definitely, because I had a couple people ask me um, just over DMs, like other writers of other teams, because obviously Lawton's popping up in trade rumors, like what's up with Scott Lawton? Why is he struggling? Why do his numbers look so bad? And my answer was, look, I don't think he's fallen off a cliff. I think he's just having one of those down years. And I think the reason is that he's trapped in his own head. And Lawton more or less admitted today that he thinks the reason is that he was trapped in his own head. And now he's just letting the game come to him rather than spending all this time on the ice trying to make up for what happened the previous shift or a mistake he made or a penalty he took. He just looks like Scott Lawton again. And I don't know if it's going to result in him sticking around as a flyer. It very well could end up just mean that his trade value goes up and they have a better chance of getting the first round pick that apparently they're holding out for for Scott Lawton. But from Scott Lawton's perspective, Lawton is trying to convince the Flyers that he should be part of this long term because he doesn't want to get traded. And these last two games, he's looked like the kind of guy that could give, you know, could give Keith Jones and Danny Briere and John Tortorella a pause of, you know, can we afford, at least during a playoff run where we're battling for a playoff spot, can we afford to trade away a guy who is the only guy on the team with a letter and is beloved in that room? You know, do we do we have to do it now or can we wait until the offseason or can we just not do it ever? I don't know. But I can tell you over the last two games, Scott Lawton has looked like Scott Lawton again, and it's been cool to see. It absolutely has. And that's what I was saying to JP, like whether it's trading Scott Lawton now in the offseason or just keeping him for this run, whatever it is, it helps the Flyers. Him playing well makes the Flyers better. And that makes me happy, Charlie. <laughs> Y'all silly like the mayor. 